Welcome to Mito Canada's Education Academy. Today, we are exploring mitochondrial disease. What is mitochondrial disease? To understand mitochondrial disease, we first need to learn about the mitochondria. Our organs are made of trillions of cells that work together to energize our lives. Every cell needs energy, and this is where the mitochondria come in. Mitochondria are organelles, which are special components of cells that have specific functions. The primary function of mitochondria is to make energy. That's why we call them the powerhouses of the cell. Think of each of your cells as being its own little town. In the town, you have a grocery store, businesses, and a power plant. You can think of your mitochondria as the power plants of your cells. They convert oxygen and food into energy so your body can function. When the power plants don't produce enough energy, cells and entire organs malfunction and may even stop working altogether. Why does mitochondrial dysfunction happen? Your cells have blueprints of all the things they need to make called DNA. These blueprints are located in the cell's nucleus or control center and are called nuclear DNA. While nuclear DNA provides the general instructions for everything made in a cell, the mitochondria also have their own special set of instructions called mitochondrial DNA. Working together with the nuclear DNA, they code for all the parts of the mitochondria. You can think of nuclear DNA as the town's mayor and mitochondrial DNA as the engineers for the power plant. Sometimes mitochondria may mutate. Other times, they can be damaged. When this happens, the mitochondria's ability to make energy and perform other critical functions may be impaired. Mutations can be inherited or develop spontaneously, whereas damage can be caused by exposure to toxins like pollutants. Regardless of the cause, when the powerhouses of our cells do not function properly, mitochondrial disease can occur. About one in 4,000 people have a mitochondrial disease, and no case is exactly alike. Symptoms can vary greatly depending on what organ, what type of DNA, and what part of the DNA is affected. For example, mitochondrial diseases can affect the heart, brain, eyes, or several organs. Having the same disease, or even the same mutation as someone else, doesn't necessarily mean you will live with the same symptoms or challenges. At the end of the day, we all need energy to survive. It's as simple and complex as that. Mito Canada is dedicated to creating a world where all lives are powered by healthy mitochondria. Our foundation works tirelessly to support and protect Canadians living with or at risk of developing mitochondrial disease. Learn how Mito Canada is energizing lives.